I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members. Thank you. It's continued support like yours that keeps this channel growing. And if you haven't already, please consider joining today. Hello and welcome, I'm Berta Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy, the Lossitron Speedia 500 Collection Decepticon Crasher and I love this toy. And this is a figure that was a very generous gift from channel member Daddy Bots. He sent me this figure along with a couple of others that I'm going to be reviewing here shortly. Daddy Bots, thank you so very much for the generous gift. I am absolutely loving, loving these figures so very much. So released in the fall of 2022 this figure is brand new starting to hit store shelves right now and online stores it is a deluxe class figure and she retails for approximately 23 dollars and so let's let's look at everything that comes included first and then we'll talk a little bit about crasher because this is very exciting for me i absolutely love everything about this figure taking a quick look at the packaging she comes in that speedia collection box and yes i am saying she we'll get to that in a moment um, she comes packaged in her vehicle mode with the open window, which I absolutely love. I love Transformers packed in vehicle modes. Again, please, let's just all go back to all the Transformers being packed in vehicle modes the way they should be. <laughs> uh, but you have the Transformers logo right there. Uh, artwork of, of Crasher right there. I almost called her Velocitron for some reason. Picture of Crasher in her vehicle mode. Up here, some artwork of her vehicle mode as well. Over on the side, just the same artwork, just to extend it over. Close up of Crasher. And then on the back, you got product shots of Crasher in her robot and in her vehicle mode. 18 steps for transformation. That's it for the box. She comes with a sheet of instructions. Very easy to read, very easy to follow along. Not a whole lot to say about there. And she is a repaint of Earthrise Mirage, which in itself is a retool of Siege Mirage. So she comes with all the same weapons that Mirage came with. These are the exact same weapons that I have on my Siege Mirage. She is just They're just painted differently, right? So we've got this one handgun or hand rifle right here with the two little wings. And then we've got the missile launcher right there that can also separate. So you can have one gun and one missile or or i mean i don't know you can hold she can hold that in her hand for something but you know or you can pop it this way unfortunately you cannot put this on her shoulder like you would with siege mirage there's a couple of ports all along the vehicle so we got a couple of ports here and here if you want to peg the weapons right there for an attack mode so there we go pegging okay so now let's get those removed Set those off to the side. <laughs> Let's take a look at Crasher. Crasher, for those of you who might be wondering, was a GoBot. It, originally, Crasher was part of the GoBots line. She was a renegade, so she was a bad guy. And uh, she was in love with Leader One, who was the leader of the Guardians, of the good guys. Which made for some interesting dynamics there during the show. So, um, but yeah, I absolutely love everything about this. This is a uh, obviously a formula style racing car. She measures approximately five inches long and about an inch and a half tall. Done mostly in black, very reminiscent to the original Crasher. We'll take a look at her in a moment here. So she got mostly black with some white and red details. We do have it. The Septicon logo tampographed right there now. And we got the number 01. Her number, her original toy, the, the number, uh, the vehicle number was one. So there you go. And just kind of looking all the way around. Again, this is my first experience with this. Um, I'm not going to say with this mold. I'm going to say with this retool. Because I do have the Siege side swipe, but I never got the Earthrise version. Um, so it's very interesting to see the, the minor changes that they did to the vehicle mode that absolutely work. Like you no longer have the chest uh, sitting in the back of the vehicle anymore. It's rather underneath the vehicle now, right? So that does a really good job of hiding that as well. Uh, and just just very minor changes that they've done. We might as well bring in Siege Sideswipe right there. Some minor changes that have been done that really, really work for this to, to, to turn a, I guess, a Cybertronian vehicle into an Earth vehicle uh, and while still looking very similar. The spoiler is smaller. You've got an open seat now. The scoops are a little different here due to the arms. The way the arms are placed is different. Um, the whole front of the car is actually different. This is all remolded pieces. Even the struts that the wheels are on are different. 
the wheels appear to be the same, but other than that, yeah, um, a lot of changes went into this retool um, to make a very, very different looking um, vehicle mode. And I really enjoy that. I really appreciate that. That looks really, really cool. So that's, you know, that's her with her ancestor, I suppose. <laughs> We're talking about molds. Let's take a look at Crasher with the original Crasher, original G1 <laughs> Crasher, if you will. This is an original GoBots Crasher. So this is what she looks. She was a racing car, not quite a formula. Um, I am. I, I. I don't remember. There was a, a specific name for this type of. This is. A, this was a very uh, common, a very popular European circuit style racing um, back in the seventies and eighties. Um, okay, it's kind of going away in the eighties. Uh, very popular sixties and seventies, I guess. It wasn't formula. It was circuit race. They they would race these cars out in streets, um, but they were all you know very stylized. Very you know just looked like cars you don't see on the road every day. You only saw them on the road when they were racing. Yeah, so that's that's the kind of car that she was. Uh, it's not formula, but I also don't know what to call it. So, but there you go. So you can see all the inspirations where it came, you know what came from uh, here uh, and was put over here, which is fantastic. Now, let me just bring this guy in, just because he's in the same wave, and I got him right here. So here's the uh, uh, I almost call him Drag Strip Shadow Strip, who was also uh, very generous, generously donated by Daddy Bot. So this came along with the with with Crasher as well. And um, I think that I would have loved it. This may just be me. I would have loved both of these to get done in the Crasher. Um, I think this car mode works better for Crasher. Um, and the robot modes both work for Crasher. So this would have been a great candidate for Crasher as well. And if I got two Crashers myself and fellow GoBot fans would absolutely be delighted if we would have gotten that. But if you look at these two cars, you can see a lot more similarities between these two than you see between these two, right? If you take this car right here and close up the seat right there and just kind of make this a scoop, kind of like they did with seat side swipe to kind of emulate this, there you go, done and repaint, right? And then, like I said, the the uh, the robot modes, both of the robot modes work for Crasher as well. But as it is, I'm really excited that I got this. This is just an absolute joy to have a, a, a GoBots Crasher represented in the uh, current or modern uh, Transformers line. This is, this is very fantastic, and I really hope that Transformers or Hasbro keeps bringing full-blown GoBots characters into the Transformers lore, uh, not just like mentioning names, like naming Minicons after GoBots, that's cool, but bringing us actual GoBots, this, this is where it's at. This is really, really cool. Please give us more of this. Transformation for Crasher is very similar to that of Seed Sideswipe with a few minor tweaks. We're going to start right back here at the back of the, I guess these are air intakes or scoops or whatever the heck that is. <laughs> Pull that up and we're going to separate the whole back of the car here. So the spoilers and these pieces here that are going to become the arms. So we're just going to split all of this and flip it straight up on this hinge right here. And then we can just bring it around like so. Reach right in here, pull the fists out. And are we ready for this yet or not? I'm gonna leave that there for now. And then reach in here, pull the fist out. Go ahead and flip this little piece down so that we can flip the head out. Now on mine, I think I, yeah, see on my, mine, something, I don't know if there's a burr there or what, but on mine, mine does tend to pop off. When I flip the head around, let me see if I can do that again in camera. When I flip the head around, my, sometimes it'll pop off. It used to do it a lot more. The more I've played with her, uh, it's kind of stopped doing it. But anyway, didn't do it that second time. So that's good. There's a tab. There's a slot. Close this up and secure the head in place, which will allow you to bring the wheels in like so. Tuck those in. And then on these hinges, these are going to come down. There's a tab right there and a slot right inside there that we're going to slot the arm into. Let's see if I can... There we go, Mine's, mine is tight. Bring the arm down and then rotate the wing up. So same thing on this one. Bring it down on that hinge, snap it in place. And again, mine are super tight. I don't know if that's just on mine or if that's just in general how that mode's gonna be. There you go, the top of the robot's pretty much all done right there. The the majority, the, pretty much the rest of the transformation is going to be just like seat sites, right? So we're just going to split the front of the car up in half. There's a little tab here that we need to slide up. There we go. 
And then the sides of the cars are also tabbed in here on the sides of the robot. So untab those, untab all of that. Rotate that wheel down, bring this piece out. It's on a double hinge here. And I always have the hardest time hinging these pieces out. I don't know what I get caught on, but I just do. Get it out about halfway, flip the foot out, and then bring the hinge down the rest of the way to complete the leg. And then we are going to rotate the leg this way, rotate the wheel the rest of the way back. There's one leg done right there. Yep, I got that right. All right, let's see if I get hung up on this one too. I don't know what the hang up is. I haven't figured it out, but I always get hung up getting this piece out. I don't know why that is. Move that wheel down and out of the way. Flip the foot, bring the leg the rest of the way down. Move that wheel the rest of the way, rotate the leg. And then the last bit of transformation we have is this double hinge right here, right under uh, or right at her waist. So we're gonna flip this forward, double hinge this forward and snap that chest into place. And there is Crasher in robot mode. And here in robot mode, Crasher stands approximately five and a half inches tall. And again, this is this is a really, really nice representation of that original GoBots character. It's not exact, um, but again, it's enough that when you see her, you know exactly who you're looking at. Then again, mostly the, all, the, all of the black, whites, and reds carry over a little more white showing now, uh, which really breaks up the colors. And of course, you got that pink face right there. A very, very nice representation of Crasher going all the way around. Not a whole lot of hollow spots other than in the uh, forearms right there where the fists used to be. Other than that, not a whole lot of waffling. The car does a really good job of filling in all of the parts that would have been left hollow by the robot parts coming out. So that looks really, really nice. Articulation-wise, head is on a ball joint. She can look up and down some. She can turn side to side. Shoulders can go forward and backwards all the way around and then out at the shoulders. Rotation at the bicep. Bend at the elbow. Nothing at the wrist because of that hinge. Rotation at the waist. Universal joint at the hips. Forward that far. Back that far. In and out. Rotation at the thigh. Bend at the knee, and we've got the ankle tilts. We have all the ankle tilts. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Uh, reminds me of some of that dancing stuff my kids would do that would freak all my friends out. All righty. So there she is. Let's give her some weapons. Now, unfortunately, the shoulder ports that used to be present on Siege Side Swipe are no longer present with this retool because of the way they work the shoulders out, which is really unfortunate. Um, with her, not a big deal because Crasher didn't have a shoulder mounted cannon, but I can see with with uh, uh, Sideswipe, with Earth, Earthrise Sideswipe, I can see why that would be a bummer because you wouldn't be able to do that with Earthrise Sideswipe, which is a bummer. But uh, again, you can just hold the weapons. This one, again, you can hold it like that. You can pull the missile out and you can have a cannon and a little gun, I guess. There you go. So there's all that. You could have a knee mounted <laughs> gun or missile if you'd like. You've got options. There's lots of options for pegging. So <laughs> there you go. You guys know what I'm doing. <laughs> so let's put this back in place here. Uh, let's see. I kind of like her. Let's take this weapon off. Are there any ports in the back? Oh, she's got, oh, check this out. You've got a peg underneath, or a port underneath the arm there. So you can use that. Check this out, that looks pretty cool. Huh, how's that? That is awesome. That looks like something that a GoBot would have had. I'm leaving her with that. That is awesome, I like it. All right, so let's set her up right here. We'll do a couple more comparisons. Once again, here she is with her mold predecessor. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's very early in the morning. Here she is with Siege Sideswipe. So you can see how the two of them look like together and all of the changes that her, that the mold has gone through uh, to go from char one character to the next. Again, this char this mold works fantastic for Earth Rise Side. Uh, see, yes. Oh my goodness. Have I been calling him Sideswipe this whole time? 
when I should have been calling him Mirage again, I just, like I said, it's very early in the morning. I think I just realized I've been calling him Mirage this entire video. I'm not going back and reshooting this. I'm not. Um, go crazy in the comment section because I'm not fixing that. Here she is with Siege Mirage. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I did that. Here she is with a, uh, Siege Mirage. So you can see what the two of them look like together. And again, the mode works fantastic for Mirage, for Earth Mode Mirage, with the exception of the missing missile, uh, shoulder missile port there. Uh, but for something like Crasher, she works fantastic again. That just looks really, really cool. I am just so tickled to have a Crasher figure, a proper Crasher figure in a modern toy line. Here she is with the original Crasher. So you can see what the two of them look like together and again you know not an exact representation of what she used to look like but again a very different car mode so the robot's going to look a little different but they've taken enough they've, they've paid enough attention to detail that we know who she is when we look at her and i really really dig it uh just because he's here on the shelf here she is with ironhide because he was right there um <laughs> so there you go oh you know i almost forgot G1 Optimus Prime for a ridiculous reason that I cannot think of at this moment. I always I always come up with some reason why I have Optimus Prime on my shelf, G1 Optimus Prime. Uh, I couldn't think of one fast enough this morning. So there's Optimus Prime. <laughs> very, very tickled to have this figure. As you, If you guys can't tell from this video, I, I, I just, I think this is the coolest thing ever. Ever since, you know, when, when, when ever since Hasbro purchased Tonka, and they started kind of giving us little Easter eggs. If you remember back to the days of Armada, we started getting nods to Golbots by by naming some of the mini cons after after um, after Golbots, you know, that kind of thing. That that was cool. But getting and, and we've had some exclusive figures come out that were Golbots figures that are retools and repaints of Transformers. That's cool. Starting to get them represented with proper figures in main lines. I think is a fantastic direction to go. And I really hope we get more of this. And, you know, and they don't have to go nuts and start making all new molds. You know, you know, stuff like this, this works. Stuff like this, where, where it makes sense, right? You take a race car figure and retool her into a race car Gobot. Make a figure out of that. This is, this is a really, really cool direction to be going in. I fully support it. And I hope we get more of that. And I think that about does it for the Transformers Velocitron Speedia 500 Collection Decepticon No Longer Renegade Crasher. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.